Yeah, she's gonna come out here and I'm gonna cry. Big softy. You probably can't see it in the video, but we're getting a fly over the F-18 Hornet, so shout out to Cody and the boys. Hi. We're gathered here today in the sight of God, in the presence of our friends and our loved ones, to celebrate one of life's greatest moments and one of God's precious gifts. We're also here to give recognition to the value and beauty of love as we seek to convey our best wishes and blessings to the union of Richard Corey Landon and Molly Marie Reed in holy matrimony. Family and friends, we come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge one that's already been begun, to strengthen it, to seek God's blessings on a bond that already exists here today. As their dearest family and friends, it is our honor and privilege to stand and witness this solemn occasion and these beautiful vows together. Dear parents, as we acknowledge the beauty of these two, we must recognize that both Corey and Molly are the products of loving family and parents who not only taught them, but also modeled for them the fundamental nature of love. Corey and Molly, marriage is the most important of all earthly relationships. This is to be entered into reverently, thoughtfully, and with full understanding of its sacred nature. All right. Yes. Let's do some vows. Oh my. Corey, do you promise before God and your closest friends and family to love and to cherish Molly, to make her your first priority after God, to honor her, to care for her, to console her and protect her, and keep her only unto yourself so long as you both shall live? I do. Likewise, Molly, do you promise before God and your closest friends and family to love and to cherish Corey? to make him your first priority after God, to honor him, to care for him, to support him and defend him, and keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live. Absolutely, I do. All right. Based on your promise of commitment, I invite you to repeat after me. Mr. Corey, we'll go with you first. I, Corey, take you, Molly, to be my wedded wife. I, Corey, take you, Molly, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Forsaking all others till death do us part. Forsaking all others till death do us part. Likewise, Molly, based on your promise of commitment, I invite you to repeat after me. I, Molly, take you, Corey, to be my wedded husband. I, Molly, take you, Corey, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Forsaking all others till death do us part. Forsaking all others till death do us part. Corey and Molly, as you hold these hands, may you see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands that will be holding you, hopefully till the end of your life. These are the hands that are going to turn old and wrinkled and have the age spots on them. Close. I'm real close. <laughs> These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears from your eyes, tears of joy, tears of sorrow. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you through the years. These are the hands that will help hold you and your family together as you go through the ups and downs of life. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. These are the hands that will work alongside of yours together to build your future. But these hands alone are not sufficient. These hands that you hold will also carry the symbol of your commitment to each other in the form of a ring. May I have the ring? <laughs> May the rings be a seamless circle of a reminder 
of your endless love for each other and also serve to remind you of today's holy covenant together that you're entering in in front of God and these witnesses. Corey, take Molly's <laughs> ring. Uh -oh. <laughs> take Molly's ring and place it on her finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. I offer with it my heart. I offer with it my heart. My hand. My hand. And my faithfulness to you. And my faithfulness to you. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and for always. Likewise, Molly, if you'll take this ring as a symbol of your commitment, place it on the wedding finger of Corey, and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And with it, I offer my heart. And with it, I offer my heart. My hand. My hand. And my faithfulness to you. And my faithfulness to you. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. Glory and Molly, today you have pledged to each other a lifetime of love and care. May this be a commitment made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and daily renewed. As you stand before us, it is our hope that you will go through life in God's love and trust of Him and caring for one another in a way that is reflective of Christ. And now it is in accordance with the state of North Carolina and the Word of God that I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. It is my pleasure to introduce you for the very first time, Mr. and Ms. Riz, Corey Landon. Oh my, watch this. Open up my heart and you'll find love, 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 Open up my heart and you'll find love. It will never grow old, even when we grow up. It's up to us to stop and smell each rose. Colors that we show, it's the feeling that we trust, and it's the brush that we both carry. You don't ever have to look too far, you don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love. love.
Just be with 